I'm Jared. I'm Patrick. And this is Two Truths and a Lie. Um, so basically, for this presentation, what we'll be doing is we're going to play Two Truths and a Lie with everyone. Um, so we'll start by showing you three statements and have everyone vote on which they think is a lie and which they think are the two truths. And then we'll go over and prove um, the three. And we will then have you vote again. And one of our proofs is actually false. So um, we will then, after you vote the second time, reveal which one is false, um, and then explain why it is false, and explain the other two proofs and why they're true. All right. So for our three mathematical claims, and these are the ones that we are going to go through and we're <laughs> going to prove to you, but our first mathematical claim is that 0.999999, all the way repeating, is actually equal to 1. Our second proof is that 1 is equal to 2. And our third mathematical proof is that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, all the way up, all of the positive integers, when added up, equal negative 1 12th. <laughs> so all the positive integers equaling negative 1 12th. So now we're going to take a poll. And who thinks that statement number 1 is the lie? All right. <laughs> now who thinks that statement number 2 is the lie? I 30. <laughs> 30 question mark? <laughs> okay, and now who thinks that who, who thinks that statement number three is the lie? Again, even though we're good at math, we might not be good at counting. <laughs> Alright. So 22. 22. 22. I count for the last one. All right. So now on to our first statement. Okay, so... A squared minus B squared equals AB minus B squared. So we're now going to do some factoring. So from one side, we'll factor out, as you can see. And this, is, this is true. You want to take a second and confirm? I don't know if you remember back to your algebra ones, but difference between two squares and here, we're just factoring out a b. And now what we're going to do is we're going to divide, divide this entire statement by a minus b. And that leaves us with this. Mm -hmm. um, and if you remember from the beginning, we said a equals b. So we are now going to substitute b in for a. So b plus b equals b, therefore 2b equals b, or 2 equals 1. <laughs> wow. All right. And now for our third mathematical proof, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, all the way out, all the positive integers, equals negative 1 12. And to do this, we are going to look at three infinite series, named S, series A, and series B. And we're going to use series A and series B to find numbers that will then, because series A and series B equal certain numbers, and we're going to find those, and then we're going to see what S equals. And so this is what A equals. And so A is 1 minus 1 <coughs> plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 all the way out forever. And to find this number, we're going to take 1, and we're going to subtract A from it. So 1 minus A looks like that, 1 minus, in parentheses, 1 minus 1 plus 1. And so if we distribute that negative in, we get 1 minus a equals 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, which looks familiar because that is, in fact, a, meaning that 1 minus a equals a, or 1 equals 2a, or 1 half equals a. All right. OK, and so now that we solve for a, um, we're going to look at the B series. Um, so we'll start with B here. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to add B. And the reason um, we're going to stagger it like this is because there's a definite answer. So it doesn't matter whether or not we stagger the addition. Um, right, so because B is a certain number. And it doesn't matter. Even if it's an infinite series, we know it's going to equal a number. So it doesn't matter where we add it. It's just split up into a bunch of little parts. So actually, when we stagger um, b, because it's 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 repeating um, all the way until infinity, we're actually going to come out with um, a statement that we've already gone over, which is a. So um, as you can see now, we can substitute. So 2b equals a. 
And if we remember that a equals one half, then two b equals a half divided by two b equals one fourth. All right. And now with these in mind, we can prove our final series, the big series, s. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take s and we're going to subtract b from it. So one plus two plus three plus four minus one minus two plus three. Right? You can see that. And that's going to leave us with zero plus four plus zero, plus eight, plus zero, plus 12, plus zero, onward, and so forth. And you guys can look at that, you know, convince yourself of that. And so if you look at that, that actually looks really similar, you know, familiar. If we factor out a four, we're actually left with one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six, or S. So now we have S minus B equals four S, or S minus one fourth equals four S, Negative one fourth equals three s, and now dividing both sides by three, negative one twelfth equals s. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to our statements. So, which is the lie? Now, for statement number one, who feels that this is the lie? Did anybody change their minds? All right. <laughs> statement number two. Yeah, that's still a little bit less. A few less people. And statement number three. All right, I'd say I'd say a few more people switched from two and now are leaning towards three. <laughs> now, we're in the, the big reveal. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> two, two is false. Two is false. What? <laughs> One does not equal two. And so <laughs> the solid truth. So now we're going to go into explaining why these are. Um, so our first one, which all of you guys believed in the very beginning, but this is the mathematical reason why, is that we define numbers as being distinct when we can find another number in between them. And with point nine 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 repeating in one, you can't actually find a number in between those two, you know. There's not enough. Yeah. So we define them in mathematics as the same number. And now for a complete lie. Um, we heard some of you mention it. <laughs> we said it, but um, A actually equals B here. So um, you're if you're dividing by A minus B, you're actually dividing by zero, which is undefined. Um, and we can explain this in a few ways that are very mathematically complex, or you can think back to second grade when you were given a bunch of maybe dies or beads or something, and you know, let's say 15 of them, and said, oh, split them up into three piles, and you know, each pile had five in them. You know, so now if we give you the same 15 beads and say, oh, split them up into zero piles, that's going to be pretty rough. <laughs> and we can't do it. And now, I'm not, some of you might or might not have noticed, but in the very beginning, the title of this presentation is actually Two Truths and a Lie Rounded. We rounded up because <laughs> this one is <laughs> true some of the time. <laughs> and Yeah, um, so mathematically, we actually did take a leap of faith and did something a little legal, um, <laughs> which is A is actually a divergent series, um, which means that you can come out with two answers. So if we group it one way, we can see that every, um, it always comes out as zero because it's one minus one repeating. Uh, if we group it the other way, you can see there's that one at the beginning. Um, so it actually comes out as one. And so in math, um, a div divergent series actually has no definite answer. So we say it can't really, it doesn't work. If you think about it, when you're subtracting numbers from each other, it happens instantaneously. But where the proof, the way that we were thinking about it was in the physical world, in physics, where when you subtract one thing from another, it doesn't necessarily happen instantaneously. So if you think about, let's say, turning lights on or off, you know, you hit the switch and the lights go off, but it doesn't happen instantaneously. There's a point for whatever fraction so small that it is actually neither on or off quite. And so if we're thinking in the physical world, we would actually take the average of this, meaning that A equals one half, which is what we believe. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we also just include a little quote from a famous mathematician. 
in a letter he wrote to his friend. <laughs> um, and divergent series are the, an invention of the devil because, you know, when you're looking at something like this, you do get really weird answers that don't intuitively make sense, but can still work out. Thank you. <laughs>